a brand new week and it's always exciting to bring you the latest in your world of entertainment. And talking about entertainment, over the weekend there were lots of exciting events that happened. We can talk of the Golden Movie Awards and also the AU Arts Festival launched by former President John Ejekum Kufo. And there could be a possible rap battle between rapper Sarkozy and Flo Kingston. I'll tell you more on that. And Rihanna, hmm. Seems she's not lucky, but um, we'll bring you details on that. My name is Doreen Avi, and the show is Let's Talk Showbiz. Let's Talk Showbiz. Now, the show is Let's Talk Showbiz. If you just tuned in, and we're starting with the Golden Movie Awards, which took place over the weekend. We had the likes of uh, actresses Nanama McBrown, Lydia Forsen, and actor Umar who won awards on the night. But of course, it was not just about the awards, it was about the awkward moments, the exciting moments. And you know, Polo, <laughs> of course, she made the night on that day and other exciting activities. If you missed out on the event, here are highlights of it. This goes to Nodrain Ivansi, the Forbidden. Oh my God. Oh, thank you very much. I'm here to present our for the Golden Editor Sound. The Golden Soundtrack Award goes to OC OKJ, Potato Potato. award with her and side chick gang picking award. How many do you pick? I pick one for myself. Mm -hmm. The story writer picked one and I think the director. Okay, but in this category all, all three of you, the lead characters we were in one category. Individual award. Okay. It's not like one to share. <laughs> you know, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's been two years I haven't, um, I've not received any award mm -hmm. for the past two years and um, not because I don't have enough works out there, but because I don't do a lot lately, because I have a show, McBrown's Kitchen, and there's nothing like having your own baby, taking care of it, you know. So here's the man who has been winning all night. He's been winning all night. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that Babani, I hear it means my auntie. Yeah, Babani means auntie. Okay, and he's been winning all through the night. Yeah, we had um, nine nominations and we've carried for the highest so far for the night. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the newest red carpet host in town, Moesha Budon, and uh, she was on the red carpet. How was the experience? It was fun. I was excited. I loved it. And I think I want to do it again. Were you nervous when you were coming? I was I was so nervous. If you could watch from the first three interviews, I was like literally shaking. But after that, I was all right. And I loved it. I think I'm going to add that to my career. I'm going to start presenting on the red carpet. Wow. We can't wait to see you do some more red carpet stuff. Oh, no. So there's something that happened inside there as well. Uh, before we even go to that, on the red carpet, I saw Rosemont Brown coming to apologize to you. And how did that make you feel? Um, I, don't, I don't have any problem with her. I just think... I'm so used to people like talking 
bad about me, so and I easily forget, like you understand. I just feel like people don't know me and they just jump into conclusions what they read and they internet about me. So I don't really take it personal when people say bad stuff for me or they say against me because when they see me, they tend to love me. So I don't have a problem with Richmond Brown. Okay, I've forgiven her mm -hmm. and I actually love her though. She's she's very bold and she's very funny and she's interesting. I see. No, no. There you go. So that was it on the 9th for the Golden Movie Awards. But I bet you there are some exclusive events and we'll be bringing all of that to you um, later in the week. Yes, they are for us. So we'll, we'll let you know more about that. Now, away from that, over the weekend, former President John Ejekum Kufo also launched the AU Arts Festival. And of course, our celebrities were there to support the Arts Festival. And um, IB was also there. And um, that's what happened on the day. of the Guinean people. Yes. We can confidently talk about the school feeding program, the free maternal health, natural mass, the flagship one, the health insurance, the policy, it is giving jobs to many, many, many people. Your Excellency, the leader, where they sat for the song. stars here also celebrating His Excellency John Ejekumku for today on uh, the launch of the AU celebration uh, celebrating for art. Hey, what's up? Oh, Kolo. How is it? Kolo. Well, celebrating John Ejekumku for as the second president of Ghana on this day. I mean, how do you see, how have you seen him as a president and him being an expert? Um, I think as you rightly call him, a gentle giant, he's a very humble individual and I I think um, during his tenure in office, he really did well for Ghanaians and uh, it's just a legacy that he's left behind and it's indeed a big honor to be here to celebrate him and to, you know, during his tenure in office, he was great, you know, he really did great for Ghana and um, whatever he, he did is, you know, deserve to be emulated. At the moment, um, as an ex-president, he's also living the dream, encouraging the young ones coming up and, uh, you know, the man is full of humility, so I believe um, he's, he's um, he had so many attributes and great qualities to be, to, you know, to be emulated in terms of leadership. Yeah, please let's be outstanding. The second lady is in the house. Rajia Samir Baumir. Why 
life of one of the most intelligent vice presidents we've ever had. All right, so that's it on the AU Arts Festival. Now, moving on, there could be a possible rap battle between Flo Kingstone and rapper Sarkodie. So the two, many have called that, you know, you guys should try something. But Flo Kingstone says he will only do that on one condition. Now, what's that condition? Let's hear him in this interview with my colleague Maxwell Amofia. I think I'm too, I'm too mature for, for battle. Mm. We've done battles all my career. When I was a kid, I've been doing battles since I was a kid. Those days, uh, Kida Fest, at the mine, cultural center, everywhere. Mm. So this is the time that I do proper music, give it to my fans. But a battle, no, I don't. So, think if, so. if there's a battle called with sponsorship and everything, you're not going to do. Oh, if it's, if it's. If it's, it's a stage one that yeah. will bring us money, that we understand, we all understand. I mean, that one we can we can do that. Wow. Yeah, that one, that one there is a matured battle. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you've been we, you've been following news and what's been happening. Uh, we've had uh, this is America from Childish Gambino. We had Force doing it. People are saying we are waiting for maybe a rapper like Ken Flo to do. Yeah. I wish we expect this is Ghana from King Flo. Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually had messages on Twitter yeah. that yo, Flo, you, you should, you should do this, this is Ghana. Ghana and the rest. But uh, it, it wouldn't have been bad. But I like to be original. I like to, I, I like to innovate. Mm -hmm. I like to bring it. I like to feel for it before I do it. Sometimes you see when you force yourself to do what they are doing, you may, you may some of you yeah when I'm doing anything I want to I want it to be all of me so I want to feel it first like okay I want to do it before I really want to do it not because someone said I should do it or people think if I do it will be cool that's I think that's why I haven't I haven't done it if I get the feeling if I wake up tomorrow and I feel like I want to do this is Ghana yes it's on but right now no all right so you heard it on one condition and it will definitely have to involve money that's what floating stone is saying now to some international stories and it looks like um, rihanna is not a lucky woman i don't know whether the problem is with her or is with the guys so now this is the scoop rihanna is no more with her saudi um boyfriend his name is jamil it's quite some rich guy many thought maybe this relationship would last and probably lead to marriage but unfortunately it didn't happen so rihanna is single again mm -hmm. is a single lady again according to folks close to the superstar pop singer it was confirmed that rihanna and her longtime boyfriend saudi businessman hassan jamil have decided to separate or as we hear it rihanna decided to separate it is said that Rihanna and him were together for a while now and it was a good relationship, but now it's over. The insider added, of course Rihanna broke his heart. That's what she does break men's hearts. And what was the cause for the split? Nothing all that scandalous. The tipster told Rihanna just got tired of him. She gets tired of men sometimes. According to Newsweek, Jamil was the richest man Rihanna has dated. His family has an estimated net worth of $1.5 billion, according to Forbes. They investigated part of their wealth in professional Saudi Pro Soccer League with 14 teams, called the J.